Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Roy and Callie here in our house. Boy, we just had a whopper of a winter storm, didn't we? And I have to tell you, my back is really sore from shoveling our driveway, our sidewalk, and all the entrances around the church. That snow was really heavy and wet, and I'm going to have to really rest my body a while to recover from that. You know, and it makes me think of some of our other things. You see what I have here on my uh, on our desk here? We're in our office. So we have a lot of equipment here. This is a phone. I think you all know what that is. But you know what happens after a while if you don't uh, turn your phone off and you leave it on all the time? It can run out of charge. If I don't keep it plugged in, the phone can shut off and not really work right and you can't really do much with it. Same with my wife's computer, it's right here, and this is her laptop, and you see the cord? Well, we take that and we plug it into the outlet here, and that keeps it charged up. That gives it power so that you can do the work that you need to do or look up something. Maybe you have some devices that you use, like a computer for school right now and you're going on your computer to learn and see your teacher and see other things but if you don't have it plugged in it doesn't work right does it same with a lot of the things in our house we have to plug them in and get them charged up so that they work right we have to sleep at night we have to eat the right foods we have to do all kinds of things for our body so we can take care of ourselves and keep moving but it's like that for our souls too. And Jesus took care of himself all the time. In fact, the Bible tells us lots of times that Jesus would preach to hundreds, even thousands of people, that he would heal people, that he would do all kinds of things to help them, and it would be really tiring. So he would have to go off and pray, rest and pray and pray to God and ask for God to fill him again so that he could be used in ministry to help other people. And look at this sign that, that my wife Gina has in her office. God answers knee mail. So a lot of times we think of praying, getting down on our knees, maybe next to our bed and something, and, and praying for ourselves, our families, our friends in school, our teachers, all kinds of people all over the world and God listens to our prayers and prayer is one of the best ways that we can recharge our souls stay plugged in with God and keep ourselves filled and energized and moving forward when we pray we connect just like we connect to an outlet and God fills us and helps us in ways that we may not even realize right at first so I'm going to challenge all of us to spend extra time in prayer this week. Pray for those facing storms of all kinds. Pray for our pets. Pray for our families. Pray for our health, our country, our communities, our churches. Be in prayer for whatever you think you need and maybe even ask your family what to pray for. And do it together. And God will recharge all of us. Okay, so we hope to, you have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you all.